Hi all, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Mind42.com to create uh, mind maps with your students. So first of all if you go to Mind42.com that will take you to this site and this is the home page. Um, and to access the service you have to sign in. So if you click on sign in or sign up, um, I've already signed up as you can see here, but if you get your students to use their ID numbers, or Z numbers, Y numbers etc, then this gives them a unique username. Uh, that almost certainly won't be taken by someone else. Uh, get them to create a password they'll remember, confirm that password, then put in their college email address. Now if they click uh, to accept the terms of use and then unsubscribe from the newsletter, they'll be sent an activation link in the email which will then activate their email address and allow them to access the service. This may take a couple of minutes, so the first time you use, the, uh, use this in your class it's best just to allow for that time. Okay, so I'm going to sign in. And then when you sign in, this is the page that comes up, and it comes up instantly with the Mind Map Manager. Now, all your all the mind maps that the student is currently collaborating on will be in this list. And as you can see, I've uh, created separate ones for all of my music tech class. Um, and I'm just going to use the synthesizer one preset that I've got set earlier. Okay, so if I just take you through the main elements on the left hand side here, you'll see that you can open. A mind map. So this is where you can find other mind maps that you're already uh, collaborating on, and you've also got the new mind map button here. And then underneath that, you've got this option to save, uh, and you should do that and ask your students to do that regularly, just to make sure that they're saving, because obviously it's all live on the internet. Um, if you want, when you're finished with the mind map, you can choose to export it. Now you can export it in a number of formats, but what? The main ones that are very useful to us at the college here are a PDF, which we can then upload to Blackboard, or a JPEG image, which can also be uploaded to Blackboard, and the students can then take this away with them. Um, you can also export to FreeMind, uh, which is a piece of mind mapping software which works off, of, uh, which is a, a separate application which works without the Internet Explorer, but they do have to download some software, but it does then allow them to edit those maps offline, but we're not going to go into that today. So uh, that's where you can export your finalised mind maps. Underneath here you'll see the undo and redo buttons for when you've made uh, an edit. You can cut, copy and paste. And then these buttons here will allow you to do certain things when you've got a lot of information in the map. So this one collapse is, collapses and expands all nodes and so you can see we've got a lot of information here. And it'd be very easy for us to get very lost. And so if we ever do get lost, we can just click this button here and it will return us to the main central node there. Okay, so I'm just going to collapse all those nodes just for a minute. And you can also zoom in and out using uh, the navigation bar there. And you've also got a bird eye view to help you. Okay, so creating new nodes. To create a new node couldn't be simpler. If you click on the word that you wanted to create a node off of or a, a branch or to branch off of, you can either press the little green arrow underneath and that will create a new one for you and as you'll see here and if I create another one it will go to the other side uh, or it will automatically arrange it for us uh, but personally I like to use the tab shortcut so if you press the tab key on the keyboard that will also create you a new node there okay so we've got several different options that we can apply to this new node so we want to give it a name so we've got analog digital and I'm going to use software as an example here and you can oh, you can either cancel that or you can click apply now you can cha change the color and you can change the the scale of the text using these options here we can just reset the style Okay, and so you can choose to pass on that style for continuing nodes. Other options we've got, we can attach a link or a Wikipedia article or a to-do list or a note. Um, if you want to add another node to that one, this is what that button here is doing, so it will go underneath rather than next to. Just delete that node for now. We can choose to add a link to this node, so add a website, so if you want, um, if a student wants to point to more information where they've only give, given a basic summary of the information, uh, they can choose the website there. Uh, 
you can include an image. Now you can either paste the URL of the image uh, from whatever website that they've got it from, or you can search Google. So here we can see here we've I've typed in software and I've got this image here. Now if you want to let your students resize that, they just need to double click on the image and then drag the little blue square. Okay. Just zoom in a bit more. You can convert it to text. Uh, and you can also choose an icon for the node as well if that helps your uh, students follow the train of thought so you can number them 1 to 10. Okay. And that's basically it for creating nodes and editing and putting in different information. It, it's very, very simple. You can you tab to put one onto that node or you press shift tab and it will put it to the it will branch to the node that was previous to that one. Okay, and then here's for the really exciting bit then. So how do we get students to collaborate on mind maps together at the same time? Okay. It's all done via this bar here, the currently not collaborating it says here, but if we click on the little men it says that we can invite new collaborators. Now all you have to do is you simply type in their email address, lutonsfc.ac.uk and you separate them with commas, so that's one student and then I can put one, two, three, four, six, five uh, at lutonsfc.ac.uk now that will send and then you click invite and then and then you choose whether you want them to allow allow them to edit the map, you can see the ones that are currently collaborating on there and you can remove them if you need to at any time Sometimes you want them to edit them, and sometimes you want them just to be able to view the mind maps. And then you press invite. And then you need to enter a message for the invitation. It's very important that you do actually write some text in here, um, otherwise the email doesn't get sent. So if we say, click here to view the mind map, then that will send those, that invitation to those uh, email addresses under there. Okay. And then they will come up under this... Uh, collaborators menu. So other things to note, you've got on the left hand side you can uh, look at all the revisions so you can see who's put any information in at any time and if and you can see that it will do it on a minute by minute basis when you're logged into the map and after that it will do it date by date and you can also load to previous revisions so if someone's edited something and you don't want to do that then you can load the old revision and then save over the top. So we've got the option to close the application We've got help file. Then we've also got settings. Now this is actually quite important because if you want to, you want to tell your students to uh, to ch click this box because otherwise, every time the map is edited, you'll get an uh, an email notification, and that can get quite annoying. Um, but obviously, you've also got the auto save interval in minutes there, which is very handy. also got another editor on the side there and apart from that that is that is it for using the mind map please do check out my tutorial on how to then add the PDFs onto blackboard using groups um, my students did this and they uploaded their own mind maps to a group collectively so they could all share their research and they found it very very useful for revision thanks for watching